Hi, I'm Todd Menadier. I'm the Science and Sustainable Energy teacher here at Bloomfield Tech High School. Today I'm going to be showing you around our state-of-the-art green energy lab. I'm also going to be showing you how we built our innovative photovoltaic module, as well as some of the other innovative programs and projects that we have in our school. This Green Energy Academy addresses the challenge our world faces to generate clean, affordable energy. We educate for a sustainable energy future that contrasts our current system. The students witness this firsthand as we visit one of New Jersey's largest generating stations. We need change, so in 2008, we opened the doors to the nation's first green energy lab. This is the official home of the Green Energy Academy that was formed in partnership with BSENG. The program focuses on STEM principles combined with social, environmental issues, sustainability, and systems thinking. The Green Energy Lab has many state-of-the-art training modules, including systems for wind, solar thermal, photovoltaics, fuel cells, batteries, green architecture, biodiesel, weatherization, and energy auditing. I also incorporated real systems into our building that demonstrate what we teach. For example, we evaluate our green roof for its ability to insulate our building. We use the weather station to calculate the efficiency of our small grid-tied system, and our pole-mounted off-grid system is the powerhouse for our lab. The lab itself is also eco-friendly. We remodeled it using zero VOC paint, full-spectrum high-efficiency lighting, air filtration system, and both cork and linoleum floors. Enough about the lab, though. Let's move on to the students' work. The standard design process is followed, and the sophomores are brainstorming ideas. Next, they use the SOLIDWORKS to create a design. The challenge is to design and build a 12-volt solar panel that's capable of withstanding the elements of the outdoors. The build requires that they implement their previously gained skills, such as soldering and the safe and proper use of various tools. The teams are given 20 blocks to work on the project. This time frame requires that they use time efficiently. As such, the students are graded based on the process that they follow, as well as the functionality of the final product that they produce. Here we see an example of an efficient process. The students actually built a frame that would hold the cells in place while they were soldered in series. This allows the cells to be straight while they're soldered together. And here's a bad example. The students are accidentally shorting out their cells. So we use a piece of wood or something similar to keep that from happening. Once all the cells are soldered, they cut a piece of foam. That creates a border and will also act as a very good seal. Once the plexiglass is securely fastened, it's time to start testing the panels. First, we use a variety of spheres, each with different densities, to test the design's ability to withstand hail. The plexiglass should not press against the cells upon impact. Next, we mimic rain by pouring water over the top and hope that no electronic components will be shorted out. Finally, the current, the voltage, and the output power is measured while an LED load is connected. The outputs are monitored via computer software and data is used to determine the efficiency. At the end of each project, students collect all the waste scraps and record the weight. Unnecessary waste or overconsumption results in lower grades. The final product includes a spec sheet. This details the, both the mechanical and the electrical characteristics of the panel. The charge controllers have been removed from the panels so that way they could be used for another project. Here they are in our solar installation trainer. And now for your viewing pleasure. Here's a quick peek at some of the other projects that we've designed, built, and evaluated. Our bike power generator combines science, engineering, and exercise. We generate energy to charge 12 volt battery and invert the electricity to run our typical AC components. The sustainable model Eco Home incorporates many of the components of our lab and was designed completely by students. They also outfitted it with many of the components that you see. The juniors that are enrolled in the Green Energy Academy work towards a BPI Energy Auditor Certification. They use this house to train for the practical. And last year, teachers at the school collaborated with local unions to design and build this life-size model eco-home, which incorporates many sustainable materials and energy-efficient components. And every Monday, we throw our organic scraps in to feed the worms. And lastly, we have a 40-gallon biodiesel reactor that we'll be using to fuel our buses. Every year we try to get out of the lab too. We've participated in community events like a 350.org climate rally, a bunch of Earth Day events including the one at the Essex County Environmental Center, and we visited the ACUA wind farm and solar array, as well as the innovative Hopewell project, a solar hydrogen home. In closing, I just wanted to take this time to thank you for considering me for this prestigious award and take this opportunity to invite you to the Green Energy Academy and to see its lab anytime.